Welcome back everybody. So I am going to be getting ready to install the 15 watt UV Classic onto my 75 gallon reef tank. Now when I first set this up I put unions everywhere and I mean everywhere. I have one when it leaves the uh, sump section you know when it leaves the cabinetry and then goes up to the back of the tank and I have another one here as well. So what I'm going to be doing is as you can see here, I have matching unions. It's another thing. If you're setting up a new tank and you're going to be going with the union route and having a bunch of them, make sure you have like 10 extras for down the road. It's like what I did with this. Since these are the same male and female ends with the same nut, then it's going to go together nice and easily. Otherwise, I'd have to get different unions and re-glue and this and that. Now I can do it. I have everything glued ahead of time. And if I do have to do some final tweaking, I can actually adjust it with the unions here. These are threaded, but all I have to do is just loosen this and tweak it just a little bit. So the plan is to set it up like this. Now, I do have the unions down there loose so that when I go to tighten everything up, there's some play. It is going to be standing straight up. I am going, it's going to be like this. This section here, it's got a little bit of lean to it, but that's because I want the UV to actually not be hitting the sump. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get right to it and hook it up. All right, so it's all hooked up and running. Everything's looking good. What I ended up doing is putting some paper towels under there, test for leaks. I took about a 15 minute break. Everything is good to go, no water. I did put a little vibration pad down there. I'm not you know, keeping this secured to the back wall. Everything lined up really good. Uh, took about five minutes, actually five minutes and five seconds to be exact, and it looks good. It's there's no extra noise or anything what I did have to do though is I did have to turn up the return pump two notches because of all the 90s that are on it you know that does reduce the pressure you know it's gonna add head pressure to it but that was the cool thing is is I made sure that I had enough power before I even thought about getting one of these and actually the day before I did clean the return pump to make sure it was good to go. It was very easy to figure out what the speed was because I have a Herbie uh, method drain and it does create full siphon. So what happens is, is when the water is running, if there's too much or not enough, I just make the adjustments. So what was happening is, is it wasn't getting the full siphon. It was actually, the water level was like way down here because it wasn't going fast enough. So I just hit it once wait a minute or two hit it again wait a minute or two and now everything is back full silent nothing going down the emergency overflow so we're good we're ready to go now you know once a year when I want to take this out and do maintenance on it and replace the bulb I don't have to do it extremely fast because I'm gonna save this piece that was right here so if I really want to take my time or if I have any issues say I have like a warranty issue or anything like that, uh, I don't have to do any new pipes. I'm gonna take some blue tape and mark that as return pipe, you know, or return pipe replacement piece, whatever. I am gonna be running this UV sterilizer 24 seven. I originally was gonna put it on a timer, but um, I did talk to one of the reps over there again and I was reading the manual quite a bit and you know, like I said, I'm going for water clarity here. So I wanna let this thing run and run and run and polish this water and see how things go. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have this UV sterilizer, let me know how it's working for you. But I love the install, it was very, very easy. 
I do love the company and the availability that they have to answer your questions. They do call you back if you leave a message. So I said it before, you can't beat that. If a company calls you back and answers your questions, that just tells you something right there. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed, hope you like this install. I'll be doing an update down the road on how it's running. And, you know, that's it. See you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.